the passion of the science is driven by my love to explore this unknown. The best part of your discovery always is coming from this unknown, right? Unexpected. I'm leading a group of scientists that is actually working on the far front of this bringing nanotechnology solution to address these pressing grand challenges, especially in energy, water, and sustainability. He definitely chooses projects to work on based on, on their potential impact. One of these the, the greatest challenges is how we can utilize this renewable energy to produce the clean water and how to do it kind of very efficiently and then very low cost. We are creating this novel hydrogel that can use the less energy from sunlight to produce clean water in, in very high efficiency and we actually are trying to see how this hydrogel can be useful for this solar vapor generation. A solar power distillation process to produce Produce the clean water, so it can be out of seawater or can be out of the wastewater. Hydrogel is a very special type of functional polymers. They can retain like a very large amount of water and then maintain their 3D structures. We're also developing the super moisture absorbent gels that can take in the water vapor from the ambient air, so with very high efficiency and produce the clean drinking water. Whether it's flow batteries or super capacitors or the, the solar water evaporation, it's just amazing how much he's been able to take these porous hydrogels to come up with these hybrid materials with, with advanced function. We actually combine these energy gels with these traditional kind of battery electro materials, creating these 3D interconnected network. So they actually will make this electron and a charge transport much faster. Our goal is really transform our current battery technology that you can really realize the fast charging and discharging. I really wanted to work with um, the industry to actually make these kind of novel materials developed from my research lab in, into the components of these future generation batteries and also very portable, cost-effective water purification systems. I don't think we can even imagine five, ten years from now all the new inventions that they're going to make, given that they've made so many in his startup as a new professor. If we can make these materials in a very cost-effective manner and also make in a very large quantities, I think I think we will change the world in, in terms of providing these nanotechnology solutions to produce clean water, to produce clean energy.